Uh, all right, welcome to Engineering Ethics. It's uh, November 14th. Uh, it's Monday, we're in week 11. Uh, this is gonna be a short meeting today. Uh, I just wanna go over the week 11 assignments to make sure everyone's on the same page. I have finished grading the lessons from uh, week 10, um, but remember week 10 was your big case study. Hopefully you spent a lot of time last week uh, researching your case study. Um, last week you were supposed to give a report on what happened uh, and what makes it of interest to this class. Um, but this week you're supposed to give your ethical analysis. <coughs> so same case you used last time. Um, uh, what I'd like you to do is give a, a full ethical treatment of the case. So discuss what values are at stake in the case, um, whose values, uh, how are those values, uh, you know, why are those values important, um, uh, who is responsible for their actions, who's to blame, what should their punishment be, right? These are parts of an ethical analysis. Um, any other sort of value dimensions or uh, ethical dimensions of the case should be mentioned. Uh, one thing to do is go over the code of ethics. Remember the NSP has this big code of ethics uh, with a list of fundamental canons and then elaborations in those canons. Uh, and if you remember from our uh, look at the NSP review board, um, the review board looks at these cases and then it goes through which of the canons were violated in this case. So you might want to do the same thing. Go over the code of ethics, uh, find particular ethical codes that are violated and talk about how they're violated. Uh, you should be using the NSPE review board as a sort of um, template of how to do this, right? So uh, in the NSP review board, they have the case, a uh, description of the case, and they have some explanation of the case and why it matters, and whether the values at stake, what ethical codes are violated. Um, and then they give some evaluation. They should or shouldn't have done this. Uh, uh, you might even go further than who was responsible and whether they should have done it. And you should also talk about how to uh, hold them accountable for those actions. You know, if it's a corporation, uh, it has some scandal. Um, do we find them? Do we shut down the corporation? Um, right, what, what should be the blowback uh, after the incident that you discuss? Uh, you might also talk about the ethical theories. You don't have to do this. Uh, it's not necessary, but if, if, uh, if you'd like, you can talk about the ethical theories we've covered in class, consequentialism, deontology, virtue ethics. Uh, these all give a way of giving an ethical analysis. You don't, have to, you don't have to talk about all of these. You can just talk about one of them. If you want to give a consequentialist interpretation of the case, that might also help give an ethical analysis. Let's talk about the values, what went wrong, who's responsible, how do we hold them responsible, um, what are the ethical theories, we've looked at, say, about the case. Uh, one thing to think about, uh, and uh, hopefully you picked a case that is conducive to this, is uh, think about what you would do if you found yourself in a similar situation. All right, so say you were the end engineer on the case. Right, what would you have done to prevent the case from happening? Uh, what would you have done uh, in the aftermath? Right, would you have been able to make the right decision uh, if you were uh, involved with the case? at the time. Do you expect to run into cases like this, right? Uh, in other words, sort of think about the case from the perspective of your own future career, right? What are you planning on doing with your career and how does that intersect with the case you're studying? Is it something that you think you're gonna encounter? Is it something that uh, you need to be aware of as you go into your field, this kind of thing? So these are just different ideas for thinking about the ethical dimensions of the case. Again, it shouldn't just be a normal length post uh, looking at these ethical issues. Um, it should just be covering the case last time. Uh, you might want to give at the beginning of your essay maybe a sentence or two just reminding us about the important details of the case before you go up into your analysis. Uh, I should also say that uh, you should feel free to use uh, your research to support your ethical analysis as well. You don't need to just do research finding information about the facts of the case. You can also do research to try to help you give an analysis of the case. Um, you know, look up other, uh, other cases like it and how they were decided. Um, uh, you can do some research about the values involved, right? So remember, remember when we were doing the Deepwater Horizon case, uh, I, I linked to an article about the ecological value of integrity, right? So um, the, uh, that article was on the Deepwater Horizon case, but it wasn't really a, a primary source for any of the information about the Deepwater Horizon. What it really was was an information, uh, a source of information about how to think about or how to theorize or interpret the case. And that's fine too. You, you can do research to try to help you find resources to help you understand these cases and that can go into this week. Uh, so uh, 
for both these weeks, remember you're doing a bibliography. Um, you had to do two resources with annotations last time. Um, and then you want to do two more this time. And because I have to grade them all, I want to make sure you're not just copying and pasting the same two sources. I'm asking you to include all four sources. So you should have a complete bibliography. All four sources with annotations, and then any other additional sources that you use, Wikipedia or whatever, um, should also be in the bibliography as the first reply uh, to your thread. Uh, make sure it's first reply to the thread, uh, or I'm going to take five points off. Uh, and that's it. All the rest of the details for the case uh, for the case study uh, you can find in lesson ten. Uh, it should just be a continuation of the case. Um, uh, I'll also just note that there's an, another extra credit opportunity uh, again in week uh, 15. If you go down to week 15, uh, there's this extra credit essay assignment. And in these essays, uh, you can do the ethics your field, which is due last weekend. Um, but then I'm offering this other extra credit opportunity that's due at the end of class, at the end of the semester, December 14th. Uh, this extra credit opportunity is asking you to watch this uh, documentary, it's a four part documentary. Uh, here's the full thing. It's about 40 minutes long, so it's a little bit under an hour long. Uh, it's not too long. Uh, and uh, the issue is about uh, remix culture, but not just remix culture, but also copyright law, patent law, patent trolls, um, and how this, uh, how, how the legal and economic realities of remixing um, impact the cultural use of remixed content. Um, so this is uh, an issue that's related to ethics uh, that I'd like to talk about, but I don't get enough time to talk about it in this class. So uh, if you'd like to talk about copyright or patent law uh, and uh, remix culture, uh, watch the documentary and write a short, normal length essay. I do it at the end of the semester. Uh, that's about it. Um, you should just be doing your case study. Uh, next week, um, we're gonna return to normal schedule, normal assignments. Uh, we're, gonna finish, we're gonna be starting the last unit of our class uh, on artificial intelligence and autonomy. So next week, lesson 12, I'll give a sort of introduction to uh, artificial intelligence. I'll talk about Turing uh, and the Turing test, talk about the Chinese room and some objections to the Turing test. Uh, and I'll, uh, the real thing that I wanna do is talk about some uh, of the new techniques in artificial intelligence and machine learning, uh, especially neural networks. Uh, and I want to explain in some detail about how those work, what they do, um, why they're being so popular over the last few years. Uh, so I'll do that on next week to sort of talk about some background uh, on the artificial intelligence debate. Um, and I have a lot of resources for you to look up, uh, a bunch of links to different kinds of robots and so on. Uh, we'll do that next week. Uh, the week after that, lesson 13, I want to talk about autonomy. Um, especially autonomous weapons and autonomous drones, but also self-driving cars and other kinds of automated technologies. Uh, what happens when these technologies are in our same social spaces, like driving on the road with us? Uh, so we'll, we'll talk about uh, the ethics of autonomous uh, technologies, autonomous uh, artificial intelligence. And then in lesson 14, we'll talk about technological unemployment. So uh, given that we have a bunch of these, uh, robots in our social spaces. Um, how does it affect our own lives? How does it affect our economy? How does it affect our well-being? Right, so we'll talk about technological employment with the robots taking all of our jobs. Um, and not just the robots taking our jobs in automation cases, but also things like Uber and uh, sort of sharing economy issues and how those affect everyone's well-being. Right? These, are, uh, these are not just technological issues, these are uh, social and political issues that have ethical consequences. So we'll talk about all the ethics of these over the next few weeks. So the next few weeks is all about artificial intelligence and ethics. Uh, this is what I do my own research on. So I'm looking forward to sharing some of that with you. Uh, and I hope you enjoy it too. Um, it's, it's a little bit of a lighter, it, it's a sort of specific unit uh, on a specific topic instead of just these general ethical issues. Uh, but I think some of this is important, so hopefully you enjoy the material. Uh, that's all I have to say. Um, does anyone have any questions, comments, concerns about their case study? Does anyone want to talk about their case study? How's, how's it going, Glenn? Do you, uh, did you get all your questions answered? Yeah, that's it. You went over it and stuff. I mean, we don't have to sign in, I'm assuming, this week, right? We just have to work on our case study. 
so uh, you you can sign in. You don't you don't have to, sign ins are always optional. But if you do sign in, I'll give you uh, the attendance credit for this week. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, uh, a secret word. Uh, I need a secret word. Uh, how about remix? Since that's the okay uh, extra credit. Remix is a secret word. It was interesting. I did get to watch uh, at least the first video about the Star Wars case and stuff. It was interesting how they say remix and not redone or like re like it's not stolen and stuff. I, it was just an interesting concept. Yeah. Um, no, th that's a good point, right? So it, it's remixing. It's not copying. It's not stealing. Right. Uh, and one of the things you might be thinking about while you watch this is that uh, there's a, uh, the New Jersey uh, Institute of Technology Academic Honor Code uh, describes plagiarism, says this plagiarism is a violation of academic integrity right, if you take other people's work without attributing it. Um, but like you said, uh, you mentioned Star Wars, right? Star Wars steals liberally from lots of uh, prior art and it doesn't really force any of it. It doesn't. Especially uh, when you watch the episode seven, you just see how it's like episode four. It was just... It's just exactly like episode four, right? Yeah, uh, and then you... Can, can you say that... I, it is illegal to plagiarize from yourself, I believe, but... So. Yeah. Uh, it's an interesting concept, so. Yeah, so, so be thinking about that in terms of art and culture, but also think about it in terms of plagiarism, right? So there's this rule against plagiarism uh, on campus. Um, how does that... Sort of meet up with all the discussion about remixing. Um, maybe plagiarism isn't such a bad thing, but we'll, we'll, we'll see. Uh, okay. Yeah, um, yeah. I mean, we can talk about this more if, if you finish watching the series. You want to talk about it more in the future? Yeah, yeah. Uh, next week probably. Uh, yeah, next yeah. week we'll talk about it more. All right, great. Okay. Um, cool. Yeah. So there's no other questions. Uh, that's all I want to say today. Uh, good luck with your report. Oh, uh, I should also mention that I will not be in lectures on Thursday. Um, just like last week, uh, I'm, I'm, it's not canceling class, but I'm expecting you to use that time to finish your, your project. Uh, so I won't be in uh, the 10 o'clock or the 1.30 class, or the 1 o'clock class, but I will be at the 11.30 class, um, and it will be in my office hours on Wednesday. So if, if you have questions, uh, please keep emailing me questions, uh, and I'll try to stay on top of everything. Uh, good luck with your research. Okay. See you Thank next you week. Professor. Thank you.